I just finished completing this little Pong basketball game that Steve Good has on his website. Take a look. look. The reason I'm showing you this is there are a couple of variations that I did that might make this even more fun. First of all, I didn't carve out the back in here because if a ping pong ball comes, it might deflect off of that erratically and not go in here as well. I also didn't do the carving of the names of the game right here just because I'm not that good at cutting out things with a scroll saw. But what I did do, the traditional way to play this is go like that and then you get a point, reach in, grab it out, and try it again. The variations I made is I took the cup and I cut the bottom out and put it here. And then the ball drops down there. So to make a self-rebounder, I took a little piece of wood and I'm going to hot glue this under here. But if this is placed right here, kind of in the magic spot where the ball comes down, of course, it's going to be glued there. You get an automatic rebound each time that comes back to you, and you can sink it in again and again. When I give this to my grandchildren, I think what I'm going to tell them is there's a couple of competitions you can try. How many times out of five can you make it? And if you put a timer on, how many baskets can you make in 60 seconds with a timer? I would suggest you have a wall behind you in case you miss. And boy, I'm getting cold now. And then later, as they get better, challenge them to use this little square that I put up here in masking tape because that is the magic spot where if you hit it, it's going to ricochet into the basket. I hope these little alterations uh, give you some ideas for something you can do. Thanks for watching.